In today's session, we're going to be looking at Pixlr, which is a browser-based image editor. Browser-based means that you don't need to download any software onto your computer. You simply go online, upload your image, and manipulate it in Pixlr, then download the finished product. It's similar to Photoshop in terms of its user interface, so if you're used to working with Photoshop, you shouldn't have any problems with Pixlr. And Pixlr can do many, though not all, of the things that Photoshop can do. You can do basic stuff like cropping, like resizing, like compressing your images for the web, and you can do some advanced stuff too, like transparency, layers, text, filters, dodge, burn tools, and so on. The big difference between Pixlr and Photoshop is that Pixlr is free and it doesn't even require registration. You simply go to the website, upload your photo, and then start working with it. You can save your final product as JPEGs, as pings, as bitmaps, or as .pxd, which is for layered images, and that's a, that's a format specific to Pixlr. The only downside here is that you can't download, you can't save a product as a GIF, that you can't import GIFs in Pixlr. And finally, you simply go to http www.pixlr.com to get started. And here we are at www.pixlr.com. Notice there's no E in that Pixlr. And to get started, you simply click Open Image Editor, which takes you to the main user interface. I'm going to get rid of this opening screen since you can do all three of these things from the file menu. I'm going to get rid of that by clicking the X, and we're ready to get started. We're going to do four things today. We're going to upload a photo, we're going to crop it, resize it, compress it for the web, and then we'll save that finished product onto our own computer. So let's get started. We'll go to the File menu, and don't confuse this File menu from the File menu on your browser. It's the second lower File menu. Click that, choose Open, and I'll go to my desktop and choose the Community Garden JPEG, and click Open. And here's our photo. We'll crop it next by going to the toolbar here, and this toolbar is very similar to the one in Photoshop. We'll choose our Crop tool, and then left click and drag to select our crop. You can then fine tune it by working with the sizing boxes and by dragging around the grid. When you have it where you want it, you simply double click in the middle, and that crops your picture. One of the really nice things about Pixlr is this history panel, just like Photoshop's. So if you make a mistake or you want to start over, you can simply back up a step in our history. So if you decide you don't like your crop, simply go back to the previous step and apply your crop again. We'll keep going. We're next going to resize our image. I'll go to Image and go to Image Size. I'm going to make sure I have constrained proportions checked, and I'm going to change my width to 300 pixels. And the height changes along with that. I'll click OK, and I'm now sized for my web page. The actual image I'm seeing here is at 31%, which you can see in the lower left-hand corner. In Photoshop, that was up here in the title bar. To let you see the actual size, go to View and choose Actual Pixels. So there's the actual size of our photo. With our picture cropped and resized, we're now ready to compress it and then save it onto our own computer. I'll go to File and Save. And I'll rename it here under the name box to keep from overriding our old one. I'm going to save it to my computer. My format is going to be a JPEG, but I'm going to reduce the quality here to reduce the actual file size. We're currently at 23 kilobytes. I'll move this down to about 30 in quality. And I've got a 10 kilobyte picture that here in the preview looks fine. I'll click OK, and I'll save it onto my desktop by clicking Save. And we now have a picture right here that has been cropped, resized, and compressed.